the governor announced a new $250 million investment in COVID-19 economic relief. The money, he says, is being withdrawn from the state's rainy day fund, adding up to a total emergency relief package so far of $500 million. Our economy is doing better than uh, the country and mo almost all the states in America, but it's still really bad. The state of Maryland doubling its COVID-19 emergency economic relief program. An additional $250 million, Governor Larry Hogan said Thursday, from the state's rainy day fund to help Maryland businesses who are struggling to stay afloat. We believe it's the prudent thing to do to invest in our economy so that we don't have further bus business loss and further unemployment and, and so we can start to get more revenues coming into the state by keeping our economy strong. The Republican governor says the new $250 million includes an additional $50 million for the Small Business Relief Grant Fund and $50 million in aid specifically for Maryland restaurants. The restaurant industry funding will be funneled directly to local jurisdictions. The governor stressing he wants that money allocated immediately and no later than December 31st. What they don't, we take it back. So that's what the agreement will be. So they won't be able to sit on the money. They either have to get it out or they lose it. And uh, that we're going to set up programs to ensure that. Maryland controller Democrat Peter Francho has been pushing to use 500 million in rainy day funds for pandemic relief. In a statement, he called today's announcement a good start, but simply not enough. Adding, quote, just two years ago, the state of Maryland was willing to pony up $8.6 billion to lure Amazon's East Coast headquarters. Surely we can do better than letting tens of thousands of small businesses, nonprofits, and Main Street communities fight over scraps. Of course, this comes as it becomes clear that the federal government and Congress are not going to approve another federal stimulus until after the election. Governor Hogan says the money he announced today is a lot of money, but we can't do it alone. He called on Congress to get this done for the American people, and he called Washington lawmakers out for playing partisan politics. Reporting live from Annapolis tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.